Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today we're going to be playing around with some brand new eyeshadow palettes from Nabla Cosmetics. I picked up their two new cutie palettes and they are really cute from the Ulta Beauty website a couple days ago. And uh, these were also the ones that were released in the recent Trend Mood box. So that was an amazing deal. I think that box was like $45 or $49 and you got both of these palettes you got the whole collection which was the two palettes it was uh three different eyeliners and if i'm not mistaken there could have been one or two different lippies what i picked up were the two palettes and uh the stylo this is the i've been wanting to try this for so long um this is the nabla cupid's arrow full color stylo so it's just an eyeliner and the shade that i got is called arrow six and it's just like a dark navy blue. So I've heard so many good things about these and they've been on my radar for a while. So I finally took the plunge and ordered this to accompany probably just this palette because let's look at this one first. This is the Midnight Palette. Both of these palettes are six pan palettes and you do get a mirror with both of them. But this is what the color story looks like. Is my camera going to focus? There we go for the Midnight Palette. Super, super pretty. Uh, this one is not a pressed glitter. It kind of looked like a pressed glitter at first, but it's not. I've already been outdoors, just watch it. This next one is the Analog Palette, and this is gonna be the more neutral palette of the two. And these are the shades that you get in the Analog Palette. Super pretty. This palette swatched really well. Like, I, out of the two palettes, I was most impressed by how this one swatched versus the Midnight Palette. Not to say that any of the shades um, were bad in the Midnight Palette. The only one that was like, oh, a little bit uh, worried about is Blue Hour right here, just because I did have to build it up a little bit on my arm when I was swatching it, but everything else swatched beautifully. This shade right here, this is gonna be a stunner. This one is called Sapphire. Wow, this is beautiful, especially like out in the sunlight. Really, really pretty shade, as was this one, Quiet Storm. So we're going to have fun playing with these. I'm going to do a look with each palette. And then at the end, I will, of course, give you guys my final thoughts. And you can let me know which look you liked best. I am wearing almost a full face of Nabla Cosmetics. I am wearing my favorite skin tint, I think, of the season, the Nabla Skin Realist. This has not yet come over here to the U.S. as far as it being an ultra but it is on Beauty Bay and of course it is on the Nabla Cosmetics website. I am also trying out, let me tell you a couple new things that I'm trying out today. I picked up this new one from NYX. This is their Pore Filler Targeted uh, Stick. So what I did, and it's just exactly what it says, it's just a little stick. It's clear and I just did it on my nose, up here on my forehead, right here on my cheeks. It was fine. It's clear. It feels, there's a little bit of a slip to it, but you know, um, I think my pores look pretty much in check right now. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it a whirl to see how it goes. I'm also trying out the new eyeshadow primer from Glamlight. I did pick up, where is it? Let me grab it to show you guys. I will be doing a video with this really soon, but I picked up the Michaela and Glamlight collaboration. Um, this is a gorgeous palette. So definitely I'll be doing a video very soon where I will be creating a couple different looks using this stunning palette. Love the packaging on this. Um, but I wanted to try their new Icing Eyeshadow Base. I got the second to the lightest shade. The first lightest shade is just pure white. So this one that I picked up uh, is called Classic Vanilla and I already have it on my eyelids. And this one kind of reminds me of the ABH one, just a little bit. So we're gonna try this out today. Uh, oh, and then, and then I picked up the new Essence Mascara, Lash Princess Mascara. You guys know how I feel about Essence Mascaras. I love them. So we're gonna be trying out the curl and volume mascara today no falsies today that way we can see how the mascara is going to work and I think that's pretty much all the new stuff I will have everything uh, that I'm wearing both on and off camera linked in the description box of this video some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up purchasing I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel all right guys so let's jump into today's video I'm gonna insert the swatches that I did of these palettes and of the stylo in natural lighting so that you can see 
see what they're going to look like on a fair to light skin tone. Then I will take you into the demo portion of the video where we're going to create one look with each palette. And then of course I will come back on and give you guys my final thoughts. If you guys want to see the new cutie palettes from Nabla Cosmetics in action, keep on watching. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with the analog palette. These are what the shades look like. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go in first with a contact sheet and I'm gonna work that in the crease. And I'm using a BK Beauty 201 brush. And we'll just start blending that. I love this brush for like doing a transition shade. And just when I really wanna blow out a certain shade here in the crease. This is like the perfect brush for it. It's soft, it does the job. All right, that's a pretty shade and it blended out really, really well. I'm just dragging it out here too because I just want like a blown out look. You could just do the shade and then one of the shimmers that are in this palette Call it a day if you don't want to make things complicated. Um, but I'm going to try and use, oh, I don't know if I can use all the shades, but I mean, we'll come close. Uh, let's do camera roll now. We'll do that. We'll do that also in the crease, but not taking it up as high. And I'm taking that on a BK Beauty 202. This one has like a little point to it. So it's better for right in here in the crease. Another new thing I'm trying out, the Laura Lee Cosmetics uh, makeup sponge that I got in the can or I got with the Candy Skies palette. I really do like it. It's a nice sponge. I like the um, different angles that it has. It has like this pointed angle and then it's like flat right here. It's an overall nice sponge. I think it was 10 bucks. That's nice. I like that combo. Okay, let's do let's do maybe like maybe a little bit of a halo eye. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Dark Room, and I'm going to build it up on the outer corner and on the inner corner. And I'm using a Refer 13 brush. This is the perfect size brush. You see it's real little for doing like a halo eye or just for placing the color on a specific area. You can also blend with it. You can pack on with it. I always forget this little corner. I always have a gap right there. That's a really pretty shade. Look at those shades together. They look really nice. All right, um, I really wanna try noise. Let's try applying noise right here on the outer portion. Not like completely on top of dark room, but maybe bringing it in just a little bit. I don't know if I'll do it on the inner corner. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see how it's going to look on the outer corner. I'm going to spray the brush. This is a Luxie 245. Let's start putting that here. Let me try this with my finger. Oh, this is a very sheer shade. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna apply that over here. Hmm, I don't really know that I like the way that looks. It's not really doing anything. 
I just see like in the monitor, I see little sparkles. I guess it's more of a topper shade because it is kind of like a sheer formula. All right, let's go in, let's see. Let's do let's do this shade right here. This one's like a duochrome kind of. It's called Overexposed. And I'm gonna use that same little Luxie 245. I think I'm gonna use, actually let me try my finger first. Just place it right there, oh wow. That looks nice with those other shades too. I'm taking the Luxie 245, it's dry. Now I'm picking up a little bit more of noise. Now I'm adding a little bit of camera roll right there. That was the second shade. Oh, it looks good, looks good. All right, now let's go in, let's see. Let me do camera roll on the lower lash line and I'm using a Luxie 111. Same Luxie 111, now I'm gonna do dark room. And I'm just gonna keep that right out here. See, I have that little space right there. It always happens to me. All right, now for the inner corner, I'm gonna use the only shade I haven't used, which is a 35 mm, 35 millimeter, right? That used to be a camera back in the day. And let's, I'm using the same Luxie brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Perfect inner corner highlight. I'm gonna add a little bit more of overexposed. All right, so now I'm gonna add some eyeliner. We're gonna do the mascara together because we are gonna be trying the new one from Essence. I'm just gonna do a little bit of black liner. This is my Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. This one has seen better days. The little brush on it is kind of already bent and I need to get my new one out. I have like two of them on backup. All right, now let's give these lashes a curl. I'm using the new one from Refer. Here is our new mascara, curl and volume. It might be hard for you all to see since I have this look on, but at least we can see how the formula is. Seems to be really nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the lower lash line. Okay, that's with one coat. I think I'm gonna add a second coat. So let me just let this dry for a minute. All right guys, so this is the completed look using the Analog Cutie Palette from Nabla Cosmetics. What are we thinking of the mascara? I'm liking it. I'm liking the separation. I'm liking the volume. I like the way it looks on my lower lashes. I know you can't really see it too well because this is, you know, more of a dark look. But um, it's so far so good. It's looking good in the mirror. When you see it up close, it's looking good. I'm loving these shadows. I love the, the look that we were able to create. I like the color story in the palette. But I'll give you guys my final thoughts and uh, go over the performance uh, towards the end of the video. And I also want to mention that I added a little bit of the uh, Elf and Jen Atkin Dark Brown eyeliner to the lower waterline and then right up here to the upper waterline so this is the look we got I'm happy with it let's jump over to the right eye and start working with the midnight palette all right guys so here is the midnight palette she is definitely a beauty uh, I guess there's only one matte shade in here and that is blue hour so let's start let's start with blue hour and then let's see where we go i really want to use air i did like i like swatching all of them the only one that gave me a little bit of trouble was over here blue hour but we're going to start with that one we're going to start uh working that in the crease i am going to use let's see uh i'm going to use the sigma e45 max and i'm just going to blend that into the crease and then, I guess I'm not gonna pack it on on the lid. We'll see. It's 
So for as deep as this shade looks in the pan, it's definitely not coming across like that on the crease or on the eye, which is okay. And it could be the type of brush that I'm using. All right, so let's leave it like that. Let's go in, I'm gonna do air. And I'm gonna apply that, let's start on the inner portion. Guys, I got my brushes confused. This one that I used on this eye is a Luxie 246. This one is the 245, and this is the one I'm gonna be using for the shade Air. Now, I'm gonna try it dry. Ooh, that's pretty. I feel like I'm getting fallout, like right here. All right, I like that shade. That shade's pretty. I kind of feel like this needs to be deepened up. Let me try doing that. I'm using the Sigma E45. All right, got a little bit darker. Um, let's go, we gotta use this blue. Let's do Sapphire, same, um, same Luxie brush. I'm using it dry. I'm gonna use my finger because this one swatched really well. Yeah, that's better. Now let me try spraying it. I'm just gonna take it all the way. All right, now let's go in with this gorgeous shade here. This one's called Quiet Storm. I'm using my finger. Ooh, that's pretty. Adding a little bit more of sapphire right here. Just use the brush. Now adding more of air. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Marseille, and that's what I'm gonna use for the lower lash line. And I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 204. Now I do see a little bit of fallout right there. I'll just wipe that. That was from the blue shades, not, not Marseille. All right, now the only shade we haven't used is called Alma. So we're gonna do that on the lower lash line and also in the inner corner. I'm gonna spray the brush. This is the Luxie 111. That's a very pretty shade. It's kind of like a little duochrome maybe. It has a little bit of a shift to it. I'm gonna use a little bit more of, uh, what is it called, air? Right up here. All right, now let's jump into the stylo. I'm so excited for this. Um, that's what it looks like. It is retractable. You just turn it right here. Oh wow, that's a nice formula. Kind of tight lining up here. Now I'm going to go back into Marseille. That way we can kind of smudge this out down here. All right, guys, I'm just going to curl my lashes and add some more mascara. I'll do that off camera, and then I'll come back to show you guys the completed look. All right, guys, so this is a completed look using the Midnight Cutie Palette from Nabla Cosmetics. I did give my lashes a curl and I added two coats of the new uh, Essence Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara. And this is how the look came out. I'm really loving the blue shades. I really love these two, actually all three of the blue shades. Super, super pretty. Okay guys, let me give you all my final thoughts on these new Cutie Palettes plus the Stylo. All right guys, so these are actually number two and number three. 
cutie palettes that I have in my stash. I only have one Nabla Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and it was the Metropolitan, is it the Metropolitan cutie palette? I got the lipstick. I'm wearing the Nabla Metropolitan lipstick, which I love. I love this lipstick. This is a lipstick you're, you're going to see me wear or you have seen me uh, wear in the Sydney Grace and Temptalia videos. It's just a perfect, perfect neutral shade. Goes with everything and it's the only Nabla lipstick that I have. But a uh, Let's talk about these two new palettes. Let's start first with Analog. Um, I think the color story is really pretty. It's very neutral, very wearable. You can do something a little more toned down for during the day and you can definitely amp it up for at night. Um, I do think that some of these shimmer shades are best applied with the finger or or what I used over here on this side to kind of touch up, and I did that off camera. I have this brush from Huda Beauty. NYX makes something similar as well, and I do have that one. It's just not over here in my room. Um, but this one from Huda Beauty, it has the silicone applicator on one end, and then it has the little foam applicator on the other. So as you can see, there it is. I used um, the foam side for the uh, darker blue, and then for the more like kind of sparkly, the more glittery one, I went in with um, the silicone side. So they sell this at Sephora. I'll definitely link this in the description box, but it's a nice little tool to have when you don't want to use your finger, but a damp brush is just not doing the trick. This is something to keep in your stash. Overall, I thought the performance of these shadows was perfect. The mattes in here were fantastic. They all blended out and blended into each other really well. Very little kick up in the pan. I think I only said it was dark room and you can kind of even still see it there. Very minimal fallout, so don't be worried if you're like me and you do your face makeup first. I think you'll be okay. I would just make sure just to lay a little bit of powder down. That way you can flick away um, anything that might fall, but I love it. I love the color stories. I like how this shade right here here. I think is it just that yeah it's just this shade right here overexposed it has a little bit of a shift to it and that's what I use like right in the center really really pretty shade this palette swatched really well and these palettes both retail for $24 on the Ulta Beauty website now let's talk about the midnight palette this is the blue palette with that one pop of like copper in there this is a beautiful color story. The only shade that was a little blah for me was Blue Hour right here. I think I think that shade could have been a little bit better. That's what I started off with. That's what I have in the crease. And it was also the shade that didn't really swatch that great for me. Um, but everything else made up for it. I mean, these two shades right here are stunning. No pressed glitters, guys. Um, I really liked Air. This one is kind of a little bit of a duochrome. This one is called Alma. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I did get more fallout on this side than I did on this side, but that's because these two are a little bit of a, a chunkier formula, I guess you can say. I don't know if that's the right term. Um, so just be careful when you're going in. Definitely use your fingers for those shades or, you know, use a brush similar to this Huda Beauty one and I think you will be okay. But I, this is pretty. This is a really fun, really pretty palette. Reminds me a lot of the BH Cosmetics, the new Paris palette or Passion in Paris palette in the Travel Series collection, and also a little bit of Blueberry Muffin. So if you have either of those two palettes, you might not feel the need to pick this one up. And also with this one too, guys, I mean, these are neutrals, neutral brown, coppery shades, rusty shades. I mean, you probably have these shades in some of your other palettes. But if you like the Nabla Cosmetics formula and you just want to try more from the brand, these two performed really well and they'd be nice to add to your stash. And as for the Stylo, I really liked it. I really liked how creamy it was, how easy it just glided onto um, the lid. And I love the shade. The shade is so pretty. It's looking good in the waterline. No irritation. And I'm going to want to be picking up more of these. I'm probably going to pick up maybe the dark brown and then they have like a really pretty burgundy shade but i've been wanting to try this for so so long and so i'm really happy that i did as for the lash princess mascara i know it has nothing to do with nabla but we are trying it today i liked it i liked it i'll be wearing this for the rest of the day so i'll definitely update you guys in later videos if it flaked or if it's smeared or anything like that um, on me throughout the day but 
If I know Essence and the Lash Princess formula, this is gonna be another big time winner. And guys, if you haven't tried Essence Lash Princess mascaras, you need to. They are only five bucks on the Ulta Beauty website. All right guys, so I'm gonna give these cutie palettes two thumbs up as well as the Stylo, as well as the Glam Light uh, new Icing eyeshadow base, and also the Essence Lash Princess mascara. And you know, why not? The NYX Pore Filler Targeted Stick. I can see myself using this on those no makeup makeup dates. Like if I'm just gonna wear like a tinted moisturizer or something, Thing. Um, I think this is gonna come in handy and I like how small it is and I like that it's a stick formula leave me your thoughts guys which look did you like best are you team midnight or are you team analog sound off below I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you guys have a great day or night or it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water cheers and I will see you all very soon bye